Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Escapist. Today, we are moving on to the second to last prison. Can you believe it? We've gone through the Yogsy Penitentiary, we've been to Winter Cell Prison, we've been to the Head Enclosure Lapita Prison, we didn't name this prison, and a lot of people were already cross about that, so in the comment section below, uh, think of a name for the prison, San Panjo. I think it'd be really cool if it actually sounded like it was a place in Mexico, because San Panjo is originally from there, so if you can think of a Mexican sounding name, maybe Yogscast related, then that'd be great. Go nuts, and I'll pick one of those uh, in the next episode. So. Uh, like last time, I'm going to name people what I'm familiar as seeing them as. So I'm just going to randomize this a little bit and stop. There we go. Oh, no, there's, there's a lot of sparkles inside of there. <laughs> we need at least a Simon and the Sips. Yeah, there you go. All right, that one seems fine. So we got Simons. <laughs> We're going to have Simons and Sip. We're going to move some S's around. Uh, we're going to have Aaron. And the other blue one is always Ross. We're going to have Stripping. We're going to have Toby. We're going to have Sparkles. Mr. Malfoy is making a return. Oh, I genuinely didn't put the, uh, the S on the end of Sips. <laughs> I joked about it, but I didn't really mean to. We have got Sir Trotimus. Uh, you can be, uh, I guess, Ross. Yeah, why not? There you go. Uh, where's Smith then? Which one is Smith going to be? Smith is going to be that guy right there. I'm going to do the officers whilst I remember them. So, Officer Brinley, Officer Lane, Off Spods. Uh, who else have we got? It's Officer Dan, Officer Neeson. Officer Lee, Officer Chan, and I swear we've never had this many guards before. That is seven alone on that row, and we need three more. Oh my god. Officer Tom. Oh god, yeah, Officer Tom. I forgot about him. And I guess if we've got Aaron inside of the prison, we're probably going to need to have Danny as well. So you can be Danny. You are going to be, uh, John. Yes. John, Total Biscuit John. He's the only other bolding YouTuber I can think of at the moment. Um, so that is everybody, I don't know, I think. Toby. Oh no, Wesker. Who the bloody hell is Wesker? Uh, Red-headed YouTuber. Uh... Ant, Ant Venom. Yes, Ant. Ant is going to be in the prison. Welcome along, Ant. It's your first time in the prisons. So we've got Aaron, Simon, Ross, Trot, Stripping, Sips, Sparkles, Ross, twice. What? How is that even possible? Normally it tells you that you can't have the same name twice. <laughs> For God's sake. I'm going to make this... Uh, Tutron. Why not? Let's have Tutron in there. That'd be cool. So, the list again. Aaron, Simon, Tutron, Trot, Stripping, Sips, Sparkles, Ross, Malfoy, Danny, Ant, John, Smithy, Toby. Good. Now, I do believe there is an Officer John. Uh, yes, there is. I guess we can keep that the same. He's a man of two sides. And I quite like Officer Hank. Oh, no, wait. You know what? Instead of having Officer John, we can have Officer Marvin. Hank and Marvin. There's a throwback. But anyway, let's get into it. San Pancho Prison. So, I did ask for some feedback back yesterday on uh, how best to get out of this prison. I was told by Paul Sauls Jr. that there is a lot of fighting that goes down in this place, so make sure I get my stats up. Another thing as well was to go out of my room into the showers and then just keep going up from there or like into the tailor room and all those other kinds of things, so we'll see how that plays out. But anyway, this is the notorious San Pancho prison, the roughest, toughest and downright nastiest one south of the border. The blistering heat and claustrophobic conditions here turns around inmates angry and violent even the guards didn't enter oh god really what the hell what are you talking about oh god who's that to wow everybody's red already on me holy crap at least toby's already red maybe he remembers what happened in the previous prisons i reckon that might be the case right well we got a weapon so we're ready to go with that i'm just going to chuck toby's bed sheet into there uh shall i have a little nosy in other people's desks i think it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I don't like stereotypes that much. Why is there a bloody burrito in here already? Oh, dear. Uh, let me get to roll call before I get told off. Roll call is down here, apparently. And we've got an infirmary staff. And who's the warden? Oh, that's the employment officer. All right, Sparkles and John are getting checked this morning. What is Simon selling? Razor blade, rope, shaving cream, and talcum powder. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say hello to everybody. How does Sparkles not like me? They seriously have a very low opinion of me in this prison. Oh, God. It's going to take a while to get some of these up. Chances are I'm going to have to do, like, some episodes off screen just where I'm doing nothing but missions. Uh, here we got Officer Brindley, of course, Off Spods, and Officer Lane. I think the first, like, guard you always name is always the one that does the morning announcements and stuff. That seems to be the way it plays out. Uh, so the dining hall is up here, it would seem. 
And it looks like to get into the gardening area and into the kitchen, that's all one thing. I see what you mean now by all the rooms interlinking. Hmm, interesting. Well, anyway, let's grab some food. Uh, utensils. I guess if we want to start chipping walls, we're going to have to get ourselves a buttload of forks. And we should probably pick up a ton of missions as well. Uh, Officer Tom, there is no way I'm going to be beating up an officer in the first episode. Nope. Nope. <laughs> 89 and 70 something. Not a chance in hell. Uh, that moron Toby blocked my cell transfer. Oh, I can do that. I will do that with pleasure. He's already red on me. I got nothing to lose, have I? I reckon, actually, now that I've had breakfast, I'm going to leg it. Oh, actually, what will they have on them? I'm sure they're going to have something of use at this point. Let's have a little look. John has got a... Oh, oh God, no. <laughs> It's, I feel like this is like borderline racist or something. There's now a sombrero in here. Yay! <laughs> I mean, can we wear the sombrero? Oh, ballsy I've got. They're going to hit me, aren't they? Wow, they do like eight damage each hit. And considering I only have like 15, 16 health, not the best. Not the best. But it looks like I do have a job. And Ross, get away. Oh, come on. He doesn't even work in here and he can get inside of that room. What's that all about? Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, let's grab a hoe. We need one right now. We'll put the sombrero away. Although I do want to try it on. Let me see if I can wear it. Uh, I wonder if I take off like my clothes, if I can, <laughs> if I can put the sombrero on. No, I can't. I think it's just a vanity item. I think that's all there is to it. Anyway, uh, let's get to work. I'm going to drop the soap and pick you up and grab you and grab you. And now we're going to start doing some weeds. Here we go. Uh, oh god, the weeds are actually all in the centre courtyard. This is actually really, really handy. So, if I were to break out of my room and go to there, and then, oh, there's a van there as well. Hmm, god, it looks like there's a ton of ways we could escape from this prison. It's very busy as well, isn't it? If we notice this, like, at any given time, there's always at least, like, six people on the screen. This probably isn't going to go well if I fight somebody and there's somebody that's red nearby, because they're always going to want to jump in and, like, take part in the, uh, in the scraps. Uh, that looks like it might be a way out, actually. So, through there into the shower room. And then... Yeah, I mean, yeah, through to the shower room. And then, I guess, through to this wall. And then through to there, through to there. And then that would get us to the outer wall. I have no idea what's in the outer wall, though. I don't know if there's, like, an electric fence or anything along those lines. It's going to take me a long time to work out all of this stuff. Right, let's raid everybody's desks. Let's find out what people have got. Uh, a comb blade, that is a two out of five. Isn't this a... Yeah, it's two out of five as well. I don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to dump a load of forks in my desk as well. Ooh, we've got some chocolate, screwdriver, talcum powder. I might actually buy the talcum powder because that's sometimes a little bit harder to come by later on in the game. So I'd sooner have that now so I can start making key molds in the future. Ah, uh, Smithy, stay back. <laughs> I don't trust anybody in this prison, and I think that's the best way to go about it. Right, let's start chipping through this wall then. I'm just going to start taking people's advice on board uh, very early on. Although, to be fair, the last time I did that, I spent an entire morning in real life trying to make a... Oh, Smithy. I spent an entire morning trying to make a grapple hook, which never would have actually worked. Yeah, they weren't kidding about the guard not wanting to come in here. It seems like there's always guards on the patrol on the outside. That's really interesting. So is it only like the initial three officers that are inside the walls at any time? So obviously Officer Brindley, Officer Lane, and I think the last one was Off's Bods, I think? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Oh, exercise period. I probably should go to that because that's going to be really handy for me. I just do quickly want to get my fatigue down though. I want to try and maximize how much exercise I get in during this period. What stat should I train first? I'm thinking maybe strength, just purely because it's going to get my health up, isn't it? So let's make sure we do that. All right, 0%. Let's get ourselves down there. Now, people did tell me that... Ah, yeah, look. The skipping ropes and the big punching bags. Because I didn't recognize them on the P on the uh, Xbox One version. But apparently, they're a real thing. Uh, how does this work? Oh, I see. So for the punching bag, you actually hold the button and let go inside of the little white area. And that period went over way quicker than I wanted it to. <laughs> it was gone. Oh, come on! Really? Burritos, sombreros, red chilies. Of course, this place has bloody everything, apparently. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, never mind. Let me just do some more of this. I, I, <laughs> the music as well. Oh, for God's sake. At least you can't actually go wrong with this punch in the bag. You can hold the button until it maxes out, and as long as you let go, you're fine. Hey, whoa! Toby! Oh, for God's sake. Wait, you were red a second ago, and now you're orange. Do you think I'm your bitch or something now? I think that's what it is. Oh, God, there's Danny. What does Sips want? Officer Tom. Nope, sorry, Sips. 
Sorry, Sips. That's only going to throw him down into the yellows and the oranges, but I really can't afford to fight a cop right now. Oh, dear. There's Officer Hank. I'd love it if Hank and Marvin are both outside at all times. That'd be cool, because they're like the guardians of the Christmas Adventure House, aren't they? And now they could be the guardians of San Pancho Prison, or whatever we decide to name it. There's Neeson and Dan. I'm so glad Dan isn't inside the walls. They call me El Matino. El Malfoy, El Malvin, El Turbio, El Jono, El Shower, El Rosso, Poco Rosso, that is a Studio Ghibli movie, but it still sounds very cool. Oh, Trot's got a mission. What do you want, Trot? Tell me what you want. What are you after? Uh, you want to look out for a lighter? I can do that, actually, yeah. Why not? Let's have a little nosy in some people's desks. Toby is in here, but we're fine. Uh, we found some wire. That's really good. And some toothpaste. And that is about your lot. That's not Sips' desk, so we'll be fine. Let's have a little look inside this one. Dental floss battery. Again, not really a great deal going on in here. Hey, Toots. How's it going? Duct tape. Oh, holy duct tape. I feel like we need like a Zelda animation to play. Oh, you know what? Every time we get duct tape. <laughs> there we go. Good. Duct tape is the le most legendary of all items inside of the Escapist. It can bring you many joys and help you out of many a sticky situation, pardon the pun. Uh, but it is very, very true. Uh, let me grab some medikits because I'm weak like little babby at the minute. So I'm probably going to need those quite frequently. Um, I'm going to take you. I'm going to put the hoe away. I'm going to bring some soap because if I ever want to make a guard outfit, I'm either going to have to buy it or I'm going to have to bleach myself one. So all of my good bits away in here. Oh, I'm a happy boy. You know what I've noticed, actually? There are are literally like no metal detectors or anything around here I've not seen a single one yet all the way up to here solitary bugger all in there not in the dining area oh who's down over there aaron's down he had a book and bleach not what i was hoping for uh evening meal time ah wait hold on this prison is massive holy crap so there's a red key to get to what looks like another entire prison what Oh my god, I mean, I thought there were already unoccupied desks here, so I didn't think there was room for any more prisoners. Or at least, like, there weren't any more prisoners. Good lord. Alright, anyway. Uh, guard outfit. I've still not done any jobs yet, have I? Locate a lighter and beat up Toby. Um, Toby has had a few run-ins at me, but he's yet to succeed on any of them. What's stripping selling? Let's have a little look. Uh, sheet metal, bottle of medicine, bar of chocolate, and nails. None of which I really need at the moment. Uh, I could probably just go and loot a load of rooms. I'm showing my face at dinner. My fatigue's not high at all, so why not? Uh, oh, bar of chocolate. I will take you. Inside of desk number two is... I'm going to take the toothbrush because I found, actually, that they're harder to come by than you'd expect. Combs seem to be in every desk. And toothbrush shivs seem to be a hot product at the minute uh, when it comes to the prisoners asking for items. So I'll make sure I grab one of those. Oh, someone's been digging. Aaron! Naughty, naughty. I'm going to take your cooked food and I'm going to leave you with the dirt. And I'm going to check Trot's desk before he gets here. Oh, and I'm on 77%. Oh, God. Officer Lane's after me. Leave it alone, Simon. Leave it alone. All right, good. Okay, we're fine. Right, let me grab out one of my gardening tools. Oh, a fork is still in there. That's interesting. I might grab you out, actually. There you go. I can't seem to... <laughs> even if I stand right next to it, I can't open this thing. I always seem to have to jump on top of it or stand on the underside of it. Uh, number four. There you go. This job is way easier this time because it's only a small restricted area. You're not really expected to go that far to do it. So everything is within eye shot. So this job finishes super duper fast. And it also gives us the luxury of just wandering about as well, which is quite cool. Uh, anything else going on? What kind of jobs are available? Let's see. We've got tailor, library, kitchen, oh, and unloading. So that must be what the van is, right? I'm going to guess that's what the van is. Yeah, $22. And who's down? Ant's down. Oh, dear. So it looks like if I wanted to get to that prisoner stash, I'd either have to come in from the roof and go down a ladder, or I'd have to break in through somebody else's room and then break through another door or get a red key and an orange key. But let's be honest, utility keys aren't the easiest to come by. Uh, let me have a little look in Sparkles' desk. What's he got? Uh, more chocolate, another fork. I will take those. I don't need the hoe anymore. That tends to get restocked every day, so I should be all right. Right, let's check Sips' desk. Ah, the lighter. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to get rid of... Mm, who needed it? I guess if I can get that out for now. Who was it who needed it? It was... It's Trot. It was Trot that needed it. Where's Trot at? Does Trot have a job? I'm not sure. Oh, Sparkles is down. Oh, no, it's Sips that's down. And he had a red hot chili. Pepper. Where the bloody hell is Trot? I don't remember what, like, character I set Trot as. 
Usually I set him as having like brown hair, but maybe he's working. Does he have a job? Oh, he does. Okay, cool. There you go, Trot. Here's your lighter. Boom, there you are. Good times. $39. We're getting on okay with this, actually. A lot better than expected. Let's wait for Sips to leave. Or at least Sips is fighting at the doorway with Trot. So he's not going to see me robbing him. Let's see what we can do here. Who's going to go down first? Ah, uh, Trot went down. Okay. Oh, razor blades. Yes. So I've already got some wire. If I get a razor blade and... Let me just drop these real quick. There you go. Oh, there you are. Yeah, if I can take these razor blades, they'll be super handy in the future. There we go. I'm going to tuck these away. Oh, man, we've got some seriously good stuff. And all of this is legal as well, bar the duct tape. So we're actually getting on really well when it comes to legal items. Uh, I'm going to grab you two. Uh, Trot is still down, so he can't give me his mission. Let me continue chipping through this wall. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, shower block time. What's Simon selling? Ah, some timber. I could actually buy that and instantly make myself one of these. Although I think I'm going to need some very high intellect in order to craft a whip. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, 55 more. What are we currently on? We're on 25, so we need, what, 80? Wow, okay. But at least we've got the pieces in place now for a whip. We've got a 5 out of 5 weapon straight out the gate. That's really freaking good. I'm just going to ch keep chipping away at this wall whilst nobody's looking. And then I can worry about getting my fatigue down when I actually go into the shower. Did the guards just, like, not come to the... Oh, they do come to the shower period. Okay. Now, are they going to hear me chipping through the other side of that wall? No, it doesn't seem like they are. Okay, what's uh, Smithy got on him? Let me just check. A trowel! Hello! <laughs> oh my god! This is, like, the best... The best start ever, I think. We have literally so many good items on the start of day one inside of San Pancho. This is brilliant. Uh, guard outfit. I can't quite afford it yet. I can nearly afford a sheet of metal as well. Jeez. My God. Uh, next breakfast, a distraction. I can certainly do you for one of those. And Trot wants Sips beat down. We can do that because Sips has been getting beaten up by everybody, to be fair. And Aaron wants a sock. Why not? I'm sure I can provide you with a sock. Uh, another bit of timber. Good, okay. So let's make sure that we've got all of our red items off of our desk and into our person. You away, you away. Uh, you're red. And uh, we'll just keep an eye out for any red bits. I think we're good. Duct tape, two timber, and a trowel. I am very happy with that start to the day. We've got wire, chocolate, we've got razor blades, medikits. Oh man, we're the guy in the know, aren't we? I just hope other people can't rob your desk. Uh, I didn't even see who was getting a cell shakedown either. And Toby needs to beat down. Certainly can do you for one of those. Oh, it's me and Toby. Really? Day one, me and Toby. God damn. All right, well, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to pinch these and cover up the windows. Oh, can I not? Oh, interesting. So apparently we're just not allowed to cover those up whatsoever. Fair play. Well, it doesn't bother me. I've not got anything in my desk. I'm just going to go to sleep and save there. So I tell you what, I'm going to be there for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to leave prison names in the comment section below. Uh, try and make them sound Mexican if you can, um, but that's not really a necessity. Or because there seems to be so many red hot chili peppers around here, maybe rework one of their song titles into a prison name. I think that would also be very clever. Uh, be sure to actually put what the original song name is, just so I know, because I won't know every single song of theirs, just saying. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all... Let me check my desk. Bye, Officer Hank, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.